Hey there. Guys, today, we're going to delve into a situation that's been brewing in Kenya. This movement started when the government passed a finance tax bill, which many Kenyans believe will significantly increase their tax burden. This bill has been a hot topic with protests and demonstrations taking place all over the country. So, let's talk about what's going on right now. The government of Kenya has been under fire for passing this controversial finance tax bill. This bill, which was passed by parliament, is causing a stir among the citizens. Many Kenyans are not happy with it, as they believe it will lead to a significant increase in their tax burden. This movement, which started as a peaceful protest, has gained momentum and has now turned into a full-blown demonstration. The government has been facing intense criticism from the public for this bill. Protesters are very upset and have filled the streets of Nairobi and even broke in and looted the Kenyan parliament now. Let's talk about the situation on the ground. There have been reports of several people being killed during these protests. This is a sad and concerning development, and it highlights the importance of peaceful protest and dialogue. The government has been quick to respond to these protests, but not in the way many had hoped. Instead of addressing the concerns of the protesters, the government has resorted to using force to quell the protests. This has only served to escalate the situation and further anger the protesters. In response to these protests, the government has deployed police officers and other security personnel to control the situation. This has led to clashes between the protesters and the security personnel, resulting in several deaths and injuries. It's a sad state of affairs when people have to resort to protests to voice their concerns. The government should be open to dialogue and should listen to the concerns of its citizens. Instead, they're using force which is only making the situation worse. It's important to remember that peaceful protest is a fundamental right of every citizen. However, it's also crucial that these protests remain peaceful and do not escalate into violence. In conclusion, the situation in Kenya is a complex one, and it's important to stay informed about the latest developments. President Ruto has stopped the advancement of the tax bill and has begun making amends. He is also willing to meet with opposition leaders. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.